and no new video ideas. So useless. Everything I know is a lie. Why do I even have a YouTube channel anyway? Why am I such a pussy? Is there... Is there anything that sucks as much as my channel does? Oh wait. I have an idea. Keepin' Rockin' 404 here, and today I'm gonna embarrass myself for your sick enjoyment. You like this shit. You know what sucks? Bad entertainment. You know, like brushing your teeth with chemical waste, or asking your parents for the love you know they'll never give you. But what's even worse is when you know that something can be so good, and yet it doesn't use all of its potential and just ends up dropping the ball. We've all had those moments of disappointment, but I'm gonna count down some of them from this really gay show I like. I... That's gay as in happy, but you could really take that sentence either way and it would still make perfect sense. I'm gonna try my hardest to tear these episodes to pieces, and god damn it, you're going down with me! These are the top 10 worst Friendship is Magic episodes. <sighs> Typical pink. Fucking dragons! Everybody likes dragons! They breathe fire and shit! Oh no, Mr. Dragon! Don't burn me! That shit is awesome. So why in the fuck did an episode about dragons suck so hard? Dragon Quest is shit, and I think that's because it tries so hard to appeal to boys. And I'm talking younger kids here. You know, the ones that think that burp jokes and cliched bully characters are interesting and funny. Another problem is that they establish this community of dragons and yet they treat every single one of them like they're evil. Look, these dragons aren't the conservative party. The only part of this episode that I really liked was the opening joke, but it gets cut off by the shitty intro, so it points kinda mute. <sighs> Typical Scooby-Doo is the best show ever! Let's dick ride it! Said the creators of this episode. I'm sorry, but things scaring people isn't funny. This has been scientifically proven on the failed experiment that is PewDiePie. But unfortunately, Castlemania can't understand that. And so, we essentially get a 22-minute PewDiePie episode. Except instead of an annoying human, we get colorful talking horses. That should make up for it, but instead I just feel lied to. It's like when your dentist or doctor says, It'll only hurt for a bit. Well, it's a bit a fucking hour to you. Anyway, this episode sucks. <sighs> Typical I hate babies. I'm sorry, I do. They're annoying, and they're dumb. Insert another controversial thing about babies that will surely get me attention here. Now this show unfortunately doesn't share my contempt for these vile and wretched creatures, and so they thought baby cakes would be an original and funny concept. It's neither. If anything, it could be charming to a six-year-old girl, and hey, that's who's supposed to be watching this show anyway. But for everyone else, it's just a painful experience. It's not cute, it's just satanic. I mean, look at those fucking eyes! They've got Illuminati written all over them! If I had anything analytical to say about this episode, it wouldn't have made this list. The problem with it is, it accomplishes nothing. This episode makes me feel empty. <sighs> Typical I really tried to give each of these episodes a short critique, but to keep each critique relatively the same length, I didn't want to have an episode mentioned and then instantly moved on from. But I have practically nothing to say about Just For Sidekicks. It's boring. It's pointless. It accomplishes nothing. It isn't funny, nor is it engaging in any way. Even if I watched it 20 times in a row, I wouldn't have a single thing to say about it because I'd forget it even existed a mere 5 seconds after watching it. So, yeah, it's forgettable. But I'll turn on my good pal Tyler to see what he has to say. Thanks, buddy. I am a good pal. What episode is it? Oh, I'm uh, talking about just for sidekicks. Which one is that? It's the one with Spike. Oh, oh god, Spike. I hate Spike. I think he's a horrible character and everything he's in is shit. I think he's the Antichrist. I think he's worse than Hitler. I think he is the reincarnation of Judas. Okay. Okay. We did it. Uh, thanks Tyler for that wonderful critique. 
typical pinky. I don't know if I'm alone on this, but witnessing an awkward moment in media makes me more than uncomfortable. I mean that if one comes on, I feel like it's actually happening to me. Now that shouldn't bother me considering that I'm awkward as fuck, but it really does. And so this pick might not make much sense to others, but fuck it, this is my list and I do what I want. Sweet and Elite bothers me to no end. I almost literally find it painful to watch. The problem is the ending where everyone's embarrassing rarity. But this whole awkwardness thing isn't the only issue with the episode. Another huge issue I have with it is the song. It's basically a fuck bitches get money anthem, except instead of someone who can brag like that, it's sung from the perspective of a white supremacist Nazi horse. Because of all that, I find no enjoyment from this episode. <sighs> Typical if there was something that could really blind someone from the reality of something, it's Fanon. Because Fanon tends to make characters and storylines seem way more interesting than they actually are. Trixie is a prime example of this. She's just a stupid fake magician bitch who thinks she's awesome. It's not even funny too, it's just annoying. Boastbusters isn't just terrible because of her though. It's because of these two fucks, Snips and Snails. Fucking annoying fucking fucks, you made me support pony child abuse. Also, this episode plays out in a really stupid way. Just because Trixie is acting like a jackass doesn't mean the final solution is to be a bigger jackass. Really though, why do people like this bitch? <sighs> Typical Superheroes are cool. Just kidding, they're nerdy as fuck. But what's interesting is that every single cartoon show seems to have an episode on them. Yeah, I don't know why that is, but who the fuck cares, it's totally irrelevant. Anyway, Meredithwell is garbage. Everybody knows that too, it's just scum. Now some people have called it the worst one, but I wouldn't go that far. But really, there is hardly any good in this episode. The old school superhero references are kinda cool, I guess, but they don't really matter when the rest of the episode is just so mean-spirited. Just like I said for Ghostbusters, it's a horrible lesson to teach that if somebody's being an asshole, just asshole harder! And that's essentially what this one boils down to. Why the fuck did anyone think it was a good idea to make a boring episode about another character's perspective to a boring episode? Games Ponies Play is the sequel to Just for Sidekicks. Why the fuck would you do that? The real problem with this one is that nothing gets accomplished. The M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong twist is honestly rather predictable and not even funny. Speaking of which, you can tell this episode is purely meant for comedy. Now, that's good. Comedy is one of my favorite things about this show. It's surprisingly hilarious. Most of the time. Now, there are quite a few counterexamples of how funny this show is, but if you want one that really nails it in, watch Games Ponies play. When a comedy isn't funny, it's just really boring, because the entire point of the comedy is missed. Now, if that doesn't mean that this episode is absolute trash, I don't know what does. <sighs> Typical About a week after making my Google Plus rant a while back, I wanted to make another rant. So I chose a topic that the mere mention of gets me angry. And that topic is indoctrination. In that rant, I was going to use a media example of how TV and other such media outlets don't really make any attempt to stop indoctrination. In fact, many of them teach lessons that could be used to promote it. And guess what that media example was? Feeling pinky keen. Fuck. This. Episode. Even the number one spot doesn't infuriate me as much as this pile of garbage did. I was honestly okay with most of the episode. But then Pinky says, You don't believe because you don't understand. Fuck you, pink horse. Fight me IRL, bitch. 1v1 quickscopes on Rust. I don't often get insulted by TV episodes, but if there's one that came close to rustling my jimmies, it's this one. The moral ends up being, sometimes you just have to believe things. Now Twilight says this because she gave up on trying to disprove Pinky. But she didn't need to disprove Pinky because Pinky never proved herself. Now I've heard some people say that this is a religious toleration moral, but fuck no it isn't. It's a fuck logic believe without evidence moral. And that's unacceptable to me. I just love the storylines in this show. They're always inventive. I love how every plotline in every episode is different. Nothing is repeated, like, ever. 
when other when other shows, you know, they just cop out and repeat stories and shit. <sighs> what? <coughs> Philly Vanilli. <coughs> what was that? Philly Vanilli. Oh yeah, that. When this heaping pile of crap came out, people were saying, it's cute. Fuck you, it's cute. This show's at the point where we expect it to be cute. That changes absolutely nothing. Talk about filler. Show staff, you have 22 minutes to fill. I expect you to fill it with enjoyable content that is smart and well written. But when you fill it with the same fucking thing happening over and over, people are gonna get bored. You heard me right. The same thing happens over and over. The general plotline of this episode is that Fluttershy has stage fright. Wow, really didn't see that one coming. Yeah, got it on the subway tracks. I didn't see the subway coming. Oh, I walked to the railroad tracks and tied myself down. I didn't know I'd get ran over. Except, you know, her entire fucking character trait is that she's shy. Who didn't see that coming? The Pony Tones. This group has this certain song that they really like to sing. Like, they really, really fucking like to sing this song. Like, they sing it over and over and over again until you're sick of it. Not that it was really any good to begin with, but, you know, I don't want to hear it more than once or twice. Did you really need to play it as many times as you did? Like, what the fuck? I didn't even like it the first time I heard it! This shit's like blood on the dance floor! Uh, Alright, you know what? I, I apologize, that was just cruel. Nothing is as bad as blood on the dance floor. But seriously, the song sucks. So what else happens? Oh, they go around performing in different areas. Cool. Then everyone finds out that it was Fluttershy singing for Big Macintosh because she drank a spell that made her sound like a guy. And when she finds out that everyone likes her singing, she gets over her fear of the stage. Fuck this shit! This shit sucks! F fuck it, I'm fucking done. Tyler, do you have anything else to say? Oh, yeah. It's me again. Tyler. So, uh... Click the link in the description below for dramatic doofuses. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.